welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a Selena Gomez inspired. Um, sorry, my nose is a little bit stuffy. A Selena Gomez inspired uh, makeup tutorial. Um, so I did it on this look, obviously. Um, so if you guys like this look, keep on watching. Other than that, uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video uh, to others and help me get to my 1,000 subscribers because I'm I'm so excited. Like I'm so close to getting there, and uh. Yeah, I cannot wait till I get to a thousand subscribers. I feel like I don't know what I like. I, I don't know what I'm sh what I. Bleh, bleh. I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know if I want to do a giveaway for you guys. I don't know if I. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to do a giveaway. I don't know if I want to do like uh, a special video for you guys. I'm not sure. Um, all I know is that I'm really thankful for all my subscribers and all my viewers, who uh, have been watching me since like my first video. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys are with me throughout the years to come of me filming. Um, I've really come to enjoy filming. Uh, it's extremely fun. It's it's a new hobby that I like to do. It's something that I like to take my time with. Um, it's not something like I'm doing for anyone else but just me. I mean, I'm happy that you guys enjoy these and whatnot. And I'm rambling on. Uh, this is a makeup tutorial. It's not like a thank you video. Um, so I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for uh, continuing on this journey with me. And uh, I'll see you guys later. So uh, if you want to see how I did this look, keep on watching. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Okay, so we're going to start off with the foundation. Um, the foundation I'm going to be using is the uh, Fit Me Maybelline 220 in Natural Beige. Uh, you guys know that I love this foundation. Uh, I use it in like almost every single video. But it's because it's amazing and yeah we're gonna use it in this video today so uh we're just gonna get started on that so i'm gonna be using my beauty blender to blend this foundation so let's get started so the thing about this makeup tutorial is that her foundation looks very like full coverage but the thing with this foundation is that it's very good on building up because it is a light to medium but you can build up to um what's it called you can build up to a full coverage without having to look cakey or anything like that so that's what i love about this foundation so i'm just gonna put this all over my face and then we're gonna blend that <coughs> you know what i just forgot again because i went in to go get my beauty blender i forgot the concealer in almost every video, I forget when I'm like preparing to make a video, I always forget at least something. And today is the concealer. And I hate having to leave like the camera rolling because I'm afraid that I'm airplane. Come on, can't you see that I'm making a video? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I guess that's what you get for living in LA, right? Anyway, so um, I hate leaving the camera rolling because I'm afraid like something's gonna happen while I'm like editing it. Like I'm gonna hear a voice again or something, so I'm afraid to like leave this on. So, <sighs> so you're just gonna blend this very good. Make sure you get everything all the way to the hairline. So, you know, there's no like weird stuff going on, like missy match things. Like, excuse me. So I like to like pat this foundation in. I don't like to like rub it in. Cause I feel like patting it in really gets it into place. And when you rub it, it's just like spreading it over your face. So that's that, that's the foundation. So we're just gonna let that set. And meanwhile that sets, we are going to go in with our eyes. So her eyes are somewhat just a normal like today like wearable daytime eye look so that's what we're gonna go for today so I'm gonna be using my sheer cover uh, eyeshadow thing um, not sure where you could get this I bought this on an, uh, the app offer up like someone was selling it and I was like hey we get five dollars for it and she was like sure so I got this for five bucks I'm not sure how much this thing retails for or where to buy it or anything. I mean, you could look it up on Google and see if you can find something similar to this if you really like it. I really like it. I think it's really good. And I only paid five bucks for it, so. Yeah, so we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first color we're gonna be using 
is this one and this one I think it is called bone uh, it's like a skin tone uh, color so you're gonna put that all over the lid is that we're going to take this dark color right here called a Rosy Dawn, this pointy uh, eyeshadow brush. So we're just going to apply this to the ends of our eye. <laughs> Palette, we are going to be using this color right here. We're just going to be putting this just at the outer corner of our eye. Flat, ooh, this flat shader brush right here. We're going to put this at the end of our eye. <laughs> to line our eyelids so um, across we're just gonna blend this on top of our uh, uh, as our eyeliner <laughs> brush and we're going to dip that in there and we're going to put this we're just going to uh, help blend the eyeshadow out so and then we're just going to blend that out with this uh, blending brush right here <laughs> no harsh lines so like a so okay and then we're gonna go in with our eyeliner so the eyeliner we're using is a long-lasting eye pencil in black fever by essence I use this in every video because it's so nice and pigmented and it was only like a dollar fifty so then you're just gonna uh, line your top waterline And then we're going to go in and we're going to line just the ends of the, uh, of our top lid. So just the end, and then the same thing on the other eye. So we're just going to curl our lashes. Uh, this thing is, I, this thing was stolen from my sister's room, so I think you could buy this at Ulta. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara and just to my yeah just yeah yeah okay so i got my concealer so i'm going to be using the revlon color stay in medium and i have really bad wags this morning so i'm definitely going to need this 
so. and then I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. The last thing that I'm going to do is lips and so the lips that I she's got is very sort of pink um, it's like a nude color with like a pink uh, lip gloss or something like that so that's what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to be using the Maybelline uh, Darling Nude 655 and it's a matte uh, nude sorry for the like lipstick I know it was probably disgusting to you guys but Sorry. Okay, so I really, really love this new color. So for one, it is matte. And secondly, it's really, really pretty. And so we're just going to be adding a lip gloss to just the center of our lips. So the uh, lip color that I'm using is a Milani uh, Glitzy Glamour. So I'm just going to be hitting this just in the middle of my uh, lips and then just uh, rubbing them in. Just to give it that little bit of shine. I know it's stupid, right? Using a matte lipstick and then using lip gloss to like make it shiny. I know. Stupid, but whatever. Okay. So the other optional thing that you could probably do is your eyebrows, which I'm not going to do today. Um, just because, I don't know, I'm not going anywhere and I don't really feel like doing my eyebrows. So that's the other optional thing is you could do your eyebrows. Um, other than that, this is the complete look. You can uh, add you know, con contour and like uh, blush if you want to. And the picture doesn't really show up that she uses that, so I'm not going to use this in the video just because it is like an um, inspired look of that. So, um, but this is the look. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, so this is, I'm going to show you guys a close-up of how it looks. So just... So it just looks like that and I hope you guys like it and then don't forget to subscribe. Bye!